everyone to my channel space remote sensing and gis today we will going to discuss a very interesting topic over uh, supervised classifications over the random forest okay inside arcgis pro how we will going to do the the uh, supervised classification and uh, the process will be the random forest how we will going to do that we will going to discuss in previous lecture we i already discuss uh, various different types of classification process uh, like deep learning and uh, then object based as well as the support vector machine classifications so i will request please go through with those lectures also <laughs> and this is the another way uh, the supervised classification techniques so which i will going to discuss with you now okay so let's start uh, with that so for that i have one uh, image with me okay so as you seen here this is a part of uh, uh, the sundarban area like it's a scene of the kolkata which i will cut out of clip out to this particular area okay so and uh, we are going to classify uh, using this uh, already defined uh, schema is there okay so we are going to use that so that uh, it will be easier for us to uh, classify it. and uh, if you want to create your own schema so that is also there okay so we will show you discuss you few part on that and i previously discussed uh, that also you can check that video also so let's start how we're going to classify the image so this is basically the landsat image okay and we are going to use uh, arcgis pro 3.2 software to classify uh, this particular landsat image so the first steps we have to do uh, we have to uh, create a class or training sample manager okay uh, first thing you have to do that you have to select your um, the satellite image okay the landsat image uh, in the table of content then you have to come to the imagery tab okay and under the imagery tab you have this one options like classification wizard okay so if you click on that so this is the classification widgets which is going to show you so very first thing uh, in the image classification wizard it is ask you what particular classification method you are going to use so here you see we have the both options like supervised and unsupervised classification technique okay so uh, maybe i didn't show any any videos on unsupervised in future maybe i will going to show you the unsupervised classification techniques also okay but as of now we are going to show you the another unsupervised sorry supervised classification techniques so uh, that is random forest so first i will select the supervised classification okay so now the next steps that is uh, here we have the classification types okay so you see here in the classification there is a two types one is the object based another one is pixel based okay so object based classifications i already discussed you before okay so this is basically we are using for some high resolution images when we are actually using which is 30 cm to 1 m whatever whenever we have the images it is better we will go with the object based classifications but uh, when we have the coarse resolution satellite image then uh, it is better to choose the pixel based classification techniques another one is the schema if you want to generate your own schema you can generate you see here options will be there generate to classify or if you want to use uh, uh, default schema which is a 2011 uh, nlcd <coughs> schema so that you can use directly this schema is basically a national land cover uh, schema of 2011 okay uh, so that uh, the schema which we will going to use for this classification purpose so uh, now if you want to uh, save this data okay so you see here it is uh, under the test demo under uh, specific gdb it is by default saving this data set so i am not going to change it but if you want to change you can do that another thing is uh, if you are already created a training samples okay so like here using this classification and you can see training sample manager if you are already created the training samples and that you want to uh, need to give as a input okay so then you can directly select this folder and then give it okay but in this case i don't have as of now i don't have any signature now, okay so i am simply uh, go to the next so here you see uh, as i mentioned so already generated schema nlcd 2011 so i am going to use the same schema for the classification 
as you see here here already we have few classes like water body is there developed area is there barren is there forest is there shrubs is there herbs and planted and cultivated land is also there and we have the wetlands so uh, we can use this tool for our classification purpose okay so uh, let's see how we will going to do that very first things uh, i will show you few collections okay and on the word that basis only i will just going to do classifications okay because uh, because this this is actually a very important steps where you have to classify it um, or sorry taking the training samples in a very minutely okay otherwise you may uh, not get a good results as i am just going to show you for the demonstration purpose so i am not taking that much uh, cautiously okay so let's start how we're going to collect that uh, signature so just like this water body if i want to select okay and see <coughs> here these are the water bodies so if you want to take <coughs> polygon so you can simply click on the polygons like this okay so see here the water body is also came so that you have to take uh, randomly from a different different locations wherever you have the water bodies okay so you have to collect the samples like the same way okay suppose uh, this two or three type of samples which i am going to show you how you want to collect the samples from the different places okay this is for the water body so as you seen here i am just uh, selecting all these particular uh, classes i belongs to water okay which i collected from a different locations and different parts okay and if i want to make it all in a single group then i can just simply click it okay this is grouped my all the classes samples which is collected so if i want to regroup so i will click on this it will be the regrouped okay again okay so like this way <coughs> you can group and regroup your classes okay so now the next class suppose i am going to select okay so that is over uh anything is a forest or uh, something okay so that you can collect it okay like suppose i am going to collect uh, the forest only so i'll select the forest okay and then i can take the polygon again and we can simply uh, go for the classes okay so same way you see here the forest i am going to collect okay so like that you have to collect all the classes whatever we want okay so mostly the major classes i am just going to do the classifications and randomly on the all over the images okay so this is a good example of the sundarban forest so i am going to take samples from there so let's collect it and then i will come back again so same way if you want to take the wetland so these are the area which i can consider as a wetland okay so i can just simply taking the same place the same like this way okay arbitrarily i am just taking all the samples so once you done with the on the samples then you can go for the classification purpose okay now same thing if you want to make one is group in one class you can group it one class actually i <laughs> wrongly mis did i one mistake so i select it and i just delete the classes so maybe this is not come planted but anyway just to show you the <coughs> the process so that's why actually we have to uh, means if you take some classes which is wrong so you have to cross from here not from here so if you did cut the classes then the class will remove from your classification scheme okay so that you will remember whenever you make some mistakes just like this you want to regroup again and whatever the class you want to delete so you can delete it from here not from here so okay so that's why maybe i in this uh, by mistake i may uh, remove this uh, cultivated one but anyway let's see what is the results we come after the classification process okay so this is the way you have to collect uh, the different classes okay and uh, if you want to go for further more classes you want to take so definitely you can go for it okay so just to show you how is the process so now i'm continue the next step so now uh, then once you collected all well, the samples you can simply click on the next and you see there is a two classification process will be the support vector machine which is already we discussed before and this is a very good uh, results you will get like uh, usually we go for the maximum likelihood for the supervise okay i already showed you how good results we will get with the support vector machine classifications but if you want to go with uh, this is another one for random forest which is basically prefer 
the random tree classifications which is used for multiple decision trees that trained using the small variations of the same training data when the classification samples and majority the votes of this uh, trained trees decided on the output classes okay so the set of the trees is actually vulnerable of overfitting than the single tree so that's why uh, this is a good uh, classification results you will get with uh, random t just like uh, support vector machine uh, whatever i get is better than my like classifications but yes obviously uh, how you taking the training samples that is important and uh, how you um, collecting the training samples uh, that that is very important for any kind of classification things okay and you have to do the accuracy assessment to get the uh, results uh, how much it is giving the good accuracy over your data okay so that is the main thing over here so now uh, if i want to get the results okay so you see here this is a final thing so if i simply click on run so let's wait for the results how it is see the results how nicely it is came okay so whatever i just given the four classes okay like water forest planted and wetland and you you just see how nicely it is actually classified your areas okay so you just see here exactly whatever this is a cultivation land you see how nicely it is classified okay how nicely is classified even the forest area how nicely it is demarcating the forest area okay and the water bodies okay so if you want to swipe the areas and uh, you can see and you see how nicely you can get the results okay the same process and uh, the good thing is if you want to change or create a new outputs with the same samples that also you can do so good thing is you can generate a multiple uh, classes within a single frame means uh, the same uh, with the same training samples as i told you just to changing uh, the classification types suppose uh, as i already did support vector machines so random classifications you already seen okay so we have two more like uh, k nearest neighbor or maximum likelihood so usually people will go with uh, this very normal classification that is maximum likelihood so you can select it and uh, you can uh, simply click on run to generate uh, the another results okay so this is the another results you may see here okay so that is how it is coming came uh, over the maximum like so you may uh, just want to compare these two results so you just see here in my uh, this uh, maximum likelihood okay so how it is classified okay and uh, how this uh, one is actually classified okay this is how maximum likelihood results is coming and uh, this is down one is how the 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 another one random forest how the results is coming okay so you can compare uh, these two results okay so if you want to compare you can go for comparison okay so whichever the results is coming better you can go accordingly okay but obviously again i am telling the accuracy assessment is very important you see here there is a, some changes in the pixel values okay so that uh, you have to check so here small small channels which is not taken here in the uh, maximum likelihood classifiers but here uh, in in the original uh, means this this one random forest you see this channel which is the this is the channel which is very nicely classified over your uh, this one this random forest but if you go for maximum likelihood you see this is nothing is coming okay so so that's why a uh, random forest or you can say uh, the support vector machine classification is always a better results okay so you always go with these two color classes okay so that's all uh, from my side okay for today's lecture uh, as many people is uh, requesting me how to do the um, classifications uh, like supervise inside arcgis pro so that's why i prepared this particular uh, lecture so i hope uh, you like this video so if you like this video please share this video to others and uh, please subscribe my channel and very thank you to everyone like very recently we crossed 3000 subscribers okay so but i seen of uh, many many people who are actually watching my videos but they are not subscribing so i am just requesting so there is a lot of hard work and research we i need to do for creating all these videos so uh, i i will accept expect that you should uh, subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much thank you very much for all for it whatever supports you are actually giving thank you all